Lucas Kaufman, libero, men's volleyball for Queen's University. You guys are the reigning OUA champions. Has that kind of sunk in yet? And what does that kind of mean to you to, to be the defending champions for, for men's volleyball here in Ontario? Um, it's pretty surreal. It was an amazing experience. Um, I don't know if it's quite sunk in yet, which I'm okay with that. Uh, I'd almost prefer if it doesn't sink in because um, I'm hoping that uh, we can carry that momentum and that energy into next season and um, create the same result. So you guys were 15-3 and three last season, you were the conference champions, you were the OUA East Division champions. What was so special about last year's group that kind of set you guys apart from the rest of the conference and to be able to end McMaster's six-year run atop the OUA? I think the, the most important thing about our team last season was just uh, team chemistry and um, trusting what our coaches said to us and trusting uh, the system that we ran. Um, Talent-wise, I don't think we were that much above or if any above any other team in our conference. Um, it was just about trusting the guy beside you to get their job done and that makes it a lot easier for you to do your job, right? So um, we ran our system well, um, we trusted each other, we got along well, we had a lot of fun on the court as I'm sure uh, people can tell but um, yeah I think that was the main thing that, that helped us uh, succeed the way we did. Again, as the defending champions, you guys obviously have a big target on your back and every team is going to be coming at you with kind of their best volleyball all season long. How do you guys kind of prepare for that in the off season and in training sessions as well as in the weight room uh, to get ready for next season as the defending champions? Honestly, I think that's just motivation for us. Um, we treat it the same as we did last season, um, whether we're coming in as the underdogs or whether we're coming in as the, uh, the reigning champs. Um, I think both are motivators. It's going to be great to see other teams uh, putting a target on our back, wanting us to be the team to beat, and it's just going to motivate us to um, get better in the in the areas that we felt we need to from last season. Um, and it's going to be super exciting to see how we do. And kind of the nature of university sport and a lot of sports in general, there's a lot of additions and subtractions that happen each season. You know, you guys are bringing in a lot of recruits coming into the program this year and also losing some key pieces from last year's team or from teams gone by. What does kind of the Queen's volleyball program have in store for the volleyball fans in this community heading into next season with some of those new faces front and center and some of those key pieces moving on? Um, yeah, it's definitely tough to lose um, two of our starting middles and some of the other guys that are leaving as well. Those guys were a big role on our team last year. But I'm super excited for some of our younger guys to step up. Um, I'm excited to see what they can do and I definitely believe that they are willing to fill those roles and they're capable of filling those roles both in talent and motivation. Um, so they've been working hard to fill those roles and I think it's finally going to pay off for them. And I'm super excited uh, for them to get the opportunity to help the team win. So during the offseason, a lot of players will kind of try to hone some of their skills. And you as a libero, someone that's a pretty designated and specific type of position, what is something that you are specifically working on in the offseason to try to better your game and to try to help the program succeed moving forward? Um, so the main thing for me in the summer is definitely uh, the, the weight training, so getting stronger, um, but also staying healthy. So any lingering injuries from the season, make sure those are taken care of. But other than that, in the, in the actual gym, it's mainly just skill work. So with the, with the limited guys we have, we don't get a lot of gameplay experience. Um, so I'm just working on repetitions, whether that's service receive, high ball setting, defensive work. Um, Libero is a pretty unique position, so um, a lot of the things you can do to help your team is when you're not contacting the ball as well communication pieces in service eve, in defense, um, helping guys know where they need to be. Those are things that are definitely going to point your team in the, in the direction of success. Um, and those are probably the most important things as a libero. So yeah, I'm just trying to work on my whole game, trying to make my game a bit more complete. Um, I've felt in the past that my service eve has been one of my weaker aspects. So that's definitely a main focus for me this summer. And the off season brings a couple more challenges, especially with some of the student athletes returning home to their, their cities for the summer. What have you guys been able to do though for those who have been able to stay in Kingston and specifically staying on campus, uh, whether it's in the training sessions, in the gym, uh, or whether it's in the weight room? Um, so as of right now, uh, we work out hard three times a week, harder than we do in season, because you don't need that rest period for games. Uh, you don't need to be as, your body doesn't need to be as rested for games and stuff. Along with that, um, there are turf sessions that we run, so it's sort of agility, um, cardiovascular endurance. Um, we run those two times a week. And honestly, the whole thing is a great atmosphere. We have great strength coaches that are helping us along. Um, and you're also working out with a lot of different athletes from other teams. 
um, and everyone is super motivated, uh, super encouraging. You're always pushing each other to get better. It's something that definitely helps once we hit the regular season. The amount of guys staying this summer versus what we had last summer is a big tell in terms of guys recognizing the importance of making sure that you're on your training schedule the whole year round because you come back just as good as you were or better the year before as opposed to taking a couple steps back. Um, but I trust that everybody on the team is uh, working hard this summer um, and it's going to be good. I'm super excited for to see everybody's progress um, in the new year. So dating back to last year again you guys were the Forsyth Cup champions and you got to host the OUA Final Four and the arc was absolutely jam-packed wall to wall. What did that kind of feeling mean to see that support from not just the Queens community, but the Kingston volleyball community? And how did it kind of help you guys to attain that gold medal? It's honestly everything. Um, in a big situation like that, uh, looking up in the stands and seeing your family, friends, even people you don't know smiling and uh, cheering you on, um, whether they're Queens students or Kingston people from Kingston, it's amazing. Like Honestly, I can't even put into words how much that does for your confidence on the court. Um, because you know no matter what you do, they're going to have your back and you just play a lot more freely and it's a lot more fun. So I think that's a big part of why we were so successful this season, um, especially in the playoffs, hosting, hosting the Final Four. Um, I think a lot of that can go to the fans and our family and friends that were all in the stands cheering us on the whole way. And Queens obviously again coming in as the defending champions, there's always got to be some skill set players that are on the court. Who is somebody to you that might stand out as a potential MVP candidate for the OUA East this season? Or maybe even somebody who flies under the radar a little bit who's going to step up uh, and be a contributor to the team this year? Um, I think uh, the main guy to watch this season once again, he's flown under the radar a couple years now. Um, last season I think he finally broke out of his underrated phase, um, but Zach Hutchison is returning for his fifth year. He's a hometown kid, um, one of the hardest workers I know. One of the nicest guys I know, always working hard, always encouraging other people to work hard, um, picking you up if you make a mistake. Um, I think he's one of the most all-around outside hitters in the country, um, and I think he's gonna prove that this season. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited to see what he can do for us. Um, and just being able to spend time with him on the court is, is awesome. So yeah, I think he's gonna, make, uh, he's gonna make some big plays this season for us. It's gonna be exciting to watch. So again, the defending Forsyth Cup champions, you guys are heading into next season. The work has already started. Lucas, best of luck to you, and uh, good luck again competing for another provincial and hopefully national championship. Thank you.